morning we are at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel at Disneyland and we are having Mickey's Tales of Adventure breakfast here at Storytellers Cafe and we've already gone up and looked at everything and they have so many amazing options so different from what you typically have at a breakfast they do have the classics but this is going to be a good breakfast and the characters are dressed in some different outfits i am pretty excited for this <laughs> That's good. I like that. <laughs> Thanks, Pluto. I like your little vest there. Yeah, it looks good. It's very nice. <laughs> oh, all your patches. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Dale, I hope your day gets better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this by far is probably the most different breakfast that we've ever eaten at as far as a buffet goes. A lot of things on here that I've never seen before. Just, I don't want to say a lot of things, but many different things in, than I'm used to. You know, when we go to like Chef Mickey's or Husker House, Crystal Palace, Magic Kingdom, all of those serve basically a very traditional, mainstream, traditional American buffet. But here, uh, it's a little bit different. I don't know if that's because we're in like part of like Southern California or what, but a lot of the dishes up there are more of a Mexican uh, Spain like theme. For example, they had uh, patatas bravas, which were, um, they're traditionally are like cubed potatoes that are then served with like a spicy tomato sauce. They use tater tots. Again, that's more of like a, like a dish from Spain, I guess, from what I'm reading. And it wasn't really spicy, but it was good. It had a good flavor to it. But they had these other things, which were like a nachos, which is called chiles, quiles. The traditional way of doing it, I guess, what a lot of people say is with stale uh, tortilla chips, and they take those and they fry them, and then mix them with the salsa and the cheese, and then they're usually served with eggs. Um, the way it was done here is that it was served with basically scrambled eggs, the layer of nachos, and then you have your cheese and your salsa and stuff. Those were actually really spicy. Um, they were good, but I had a hard time eating them just because they were so spicy. They had a Mediterranean quiche up there, that was also good. I haven't seen that really anywhere before. She had basically like onions, green red peppers, cheese and egg. It's very good. I mean, they had a bunch of other things up there like cereals and fruits and meats and things like that. Another thing that they have up there, which is pretty traditional for a lot of buffets, is they have an omelet bar. Something really cool that I totally glanced over because I was just like, these look like bags of milk. So what they do is they, they take milk and they pour it into a bowl with cereal and they actually let it sit in the cereal and then it absorbs that flavor. So what they have up there is, so they have two different bags of milk up there. One is Fruit Loops flavored milk and Frosted Flakes flavored milk, which is an awesome idea. I've never seen that done anywhere before. Really great idea, I bet kids love that. Very cool and very unique. So on my first plate of food, I got the loaded potato. So it was basically a breakfast potato, but it had onions, peppers, red and green peppers actually, cheese, and it was really good. It was seasoned so well. The onions and peppers and potatoes were cooked perfectly. They also had a whole like charcuterie and cheese section up there. I got some prosciutto, one of my favorite things. Like I could eat the whole plate of prosciutto that they have up there. 
I also got the Mediterranean quiche. That was actually really good. I typically don't eat quiche, but I wanted something that had some kind of egg in it. I figured I would try the quiche and it was really good. I also got some of the classic sausage and bacon and then they do have French toast, pancakes and Mickey waffles up there. And something Josh didn't mention, which he did get, they have some agua fresca up there. They had two different kinds of agua fresca and Josh is gonna go get some more. So he'll tell you about it once he tastes it. I'm gonna go get that uh, agua fresca. Two different types of aqua fresca up there. They had a pineapple, mint, and lime juice aqua fresca, which uh, kind of turned out to be like a light green, almost looking lemonade. So the other aqua fresca that they have up there is a basil lemon watermelon aqua fresca. It's pretty good. It's basically like uh, the watermelon juice that they have at Flower and Garden, I think it was, or Food and Wine. Whatever one, you know, they blend together. That's really good. I like it. <laughs> I love your shoes. Those are awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Good? Yep. Oh, thank you, Mickey. Can I just get your picture? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. You like? <laughs> <laughs> you look so good. <laughs> you like? <Sorry. laughs> Thank you. Oh, you like? Thank you. 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 So we just finished eating breakfast at Storyteller's Cafe here at Disney's Grand California Hotel. And it was really good. I just tried to say that like five times, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> it was good. Uh, characters I think were awesome. They were super oh animated, gosh. very interactive, which is awesome yes. and great. Pluto started it off pretty strong, yeah. joking around with us. And then yeah. whenever Dale came over, Chip was like right behind him and then yes. Dale got all upset because Chip was there. Yeah. <laughs> they was were it, fighting. He, he took Dale's spotlight, basically. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, and the food was good, too. It was a nice mix from the traditional thing that we're used to over in Walt Disney yeah, World. Yeah, just like, you know, a little step away from just the straight-up classic breakfast yeah. food. Yeah, and I mean, I and I've mentioned that in a lot of the breakfasts over there, they do try to have something unique. But here they had quite a few things that were unique, which was nice and different. Yeah, I really liked that. And the food was delicious. Oh. Yeah. And the syrup that I put on my pancakes was hot syrup. And it it's good was to know. really good. Yeah, because it's not always kept warm like that, and it was. So let us know, have you ever eaten breakfast here at Storytellers Cafe at Disney's Grand California Hotel?